Good afternoon everyone, I'm Steve with Mount Comfort RV and today I want to go over with you the Work and Play Catalyst 40 WTS we have here on the lot. Um, before we get started, I just want to let you know this is the, the Abrams tank of toy hauler crossovers. If there was an A10 Warthog of them, this would be it. This is nearly a 17,000 pound trailer empty. If you have a weak truck or don't even apply, this thing requires one of the best trucks, one of the strongest trucks to be able to pull it around. Let's start at the front. You know you're going to have LED docking lights here, fiberglass front cap. Looking underneath here, you'll see you have a toy lock. We've got this outfitted with a 5,500 watt um, Cummins owning generator, gasoline powered, of course. We've got hydraulic landing gear and actually have a whole hydraulic level up system. It can handle two batteries. Let's move around to this side. All right, like I said, looking right here, you're gonna have your utility bay outside. You've got um, easy winterization bypass over here. You've got an outside shower, cable satellite hookup, your uh, LCI electronic leveling, your hydraulic landing gear and uh, leveling jacks. Yeah. 10 gallon hot water heater for super long showers. Moving over here, one thing to really notice is the construction on this. If you come by and take a look, I mean, this thing is welded together right here. You can see it. Um, this is a true gel coat on this. This is not a phylon roll that most other trailers are made out of. It's a liquid gel coat. It is poured on there um, like high-end motorhomes should be done. If we take a, take a step back, we look at the tires. These are 7,000 pound axles on these tires, triple axles, 7,000 pound each. Um, we have nice bonded frameless windows here. We've also got, like if you look at the skirting, there is no wiggle to that whatsoever. Um, a 30 gallon uh, fuel tank in the back here. Let's move around. One thing that you will notice about the ramp door, you have a Dometic awning over your VIP party deck. You've also got a um, backup camera. So if you're pulling this in late at night, you don't have anybody with you to guide you back in, you've got a backup camera just like a nice motorhome would have. It is hard to tell from over here, but the roof of this, like all working plays, is aluminum. There is no fiberglass that can crack here. There's no rubber you're gonna have to treat, nothing like that. Just a nice aluminum roof. Um, I know Prevo uses that. They're about $2 million each high-end motorhome, but so does work and play. Something you may not see on the roof as well, a lot of um, RVs are going to have 16 inch on center um, trusses in their roofs. They're going to be aluminum or they're going to be wood. Well, the catalyst uses steel. So like I said, it is constructed like a tank. Furthermore, in the cargo area, we cannot see it now, but to handle all the weight that this can hold, over three and a half tons in the whole trailer. Um, I believe the cargo weight's rated over 7,000 pounds total in the whole trailer. But in the cargo area alone, it's got 16 inch on center um, steel support underneath. <laughs> Moving along to the side, you'll see you have a nice big awning here and we can't fit in here, but it goes all the way over the door. You've got your fuel fill up for all of your toys right here. And um, I think it's probably about time we go inside and take a look at what this is. All right, folks, we're now on the, uh, the inside of the Catalyst. Let's take a look what it has to offer. We've got a 46 inch LED high definition Furion television, a Furion sound bar. You've got a fireplace to assist the 40,000 BTU furnace. And we've also got a Furion entertainment center over here. Moving around to the kitchen, you'll notice two excellent Laura Ashley full recliners right here, wall huggers. You've got a massive residential reefer. This uh, unit does have a 2,500 watt inverter on it. Beautiful solid surface countertop with stone sinks, double bowl. Nice pull out sprayer. And noticing here in the kitchen, you've got a very large 30 inch convection microwave. Three burner cooktop stove. Absolutely tons of cabinet space and a very large pots and pans drawer down here, but we, uh, we've got the box for the Furion Entertainment Center in there as well right now. 
Uh, moving around, just a little smaller nook here to put more things into. You can never have enough space with a trailer of this size. You're really going to do a lot with it. If we can take a look up uh, to the ceiling, we have nice decorative lights right here. This is a full LED lit coach, so you're, you're wondering using LED lights that aren't taking up as much power. Moving over here, this is actually a bank of four recliners. All right here, so you can actually have six people lounging here watching the game, enjoying themselves. You've also got additional drawer space, excuse me, cabinet space up here. A wonderful loft where kids, extra people can hang out. Now let's take a look at this garage. Well, excuse me, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is gonna be a little tight, but this is a washer dryer set up in here, or you can use it to hang additional clothes. You can fit a stackable in here easily. Moving into our garage, like I said, 16 inch steel supports underneath. You've got a bench set up right here, will turn into a bed. You have got an electric drop down bed. You've got a power vent up top. Obviously, I told you all we did order this with the VIP party deck. Pull down screen. Came with two zero gravity chairs and we have a half bath back here as well. And one thing with a unit like this, you're gonna get a little bit dirty and having a nice Dyson vacuum to clean up the mess is always very nice to have. Um, this is a unit that we have ordered with two air conditioners. Both are 15K, both are ducted. Okay, moving over here to kind of our command center. You can start your generator right here. You do have heated holding tanks, as well as this is an enclosed trailer underneath, but you can also, there's heat pads on the fresh tank, the gray tank, and the black tank. It is a DSI gas or electric hot water heater, and there is a link tablet that goes right here that will operate your major components. You can check the levels of your tanks while you're outside. You can turn on and off your generator from outside, open up the awnings, the slide rooms, and various other things with that tablet that comes with this uh, catalyst. Now let's step up here and take a look in the bathroom. Now, what I would love to show you all is one, porcelain toilet, two, solid surface countertops coming in here with a, with a uh, stone sink. Now look at this shower, okay? Now I'm not the tallest guy in the world, I'm about 5'7", all right? And I'm gonna sit down in this, this is a bathtub. I'm 5'7", I am completely sitting down in this thing. My legs are fully extended. If you want a real bath, you can take it with this puppy. There's also plenty of room to spare. There's probably another 18 inches up there, so you'd have to be a very tall individual to hit your head on the top of that shower. Now let's move into the bedroom. <coughs> All right, you've got another air conditioner in here. Full LED lights, like I said. Ah, that's a little bit better. You've got outlets and nightstands on both sides of the queen bed. It is also a Serta uh, Dreamscape mattress. And moving over here, there is a slide out where you can hang up all of your, uh, your winter jackets or anything else like that. And I say that, I say winter jackets because when I walk into this, um, I see the Catalyst, like I said, is a very, very well-built, very strong toy hauler. It's got a lot of beautiful amenities on the inside. Are there crossover trailers that have a little bit more pizzazz and luxury on the inside? Most definitely. But none of them are going to be built even remotely like this. Um, I don't even think I touched on that this is an FRP model. I mean, of course it would be. For those of you who don't know, this is a fiberglass reinforced plywood. This thing's got this much plywood all the way down the side of it. So if you wanted to drill into the walls in the garage, set up your own workshop, set up another, you know, more clothing area for the wife, you can do it. You can drill in anywhere you want in there, set up shelves, you name it. But when I say winter, sorry, I got off on a tangent, this bed, when you put the bed in the slide, you do get some air come up underneath. <laughs> when you put the bed here, you've got all the ducted air underneath, heating your underbellies, your, your, um, excuse me, your underbellies and all your storage areas underneath. This is a very well set up trailer for uh, winter camping and that's why they've done this. So there is a lot to see with this, a lot to take in. You really do need a powerful truck to handle this, this crossover, but um, it's one of the nicest ones I've ever seen. Definitely one of the best built one I've ever seen from the roof to the axles, 
the sidewalls, you name it. So um, if you're looking for something like this, give me a call, 317-898-6676, uh, or stop by and me or somebody else will be happy to help you out and show you this puppy. But y'all have a great day, and uh, happy Halloween.